Yo, yeah, today, today we do a whis whiskey pickle. Um, I feel like I'm a little late. Did some last minute mixing today for some new beats, so, you know what I mean? Just so I have some more stuff to play. Cool, so, I already set up. Uh, just came back to the car to get some batteries because I'm doing a three hour set and most of the time, the batteries always runs out. So, I'm grabbing the batteries so I can have fresh batteries when I perform this drink. I will take some kind of quick commercial. <laughs> April 24th, 2022, and today I'm going to Schenectady because I'm nominated for this thing called the Eddies. I feel like a winner. It's the only thing I feel like is a winner. I'm a winner. What are you? Are you a winner too? Are you a winner too? I'm going to drive. I just know how to drive. Look at me, I drive. Prakatars. Oh, look, it's the Prakatars. Prakatars. The Eddies. Ed Eddies. Music Awards. All the superstars. Are you saying good luck? I don't believe in luck. I'm a guy holding a camera, watching a guy holding a camera. Sorry, boss. Welcome to the fourth annual Thomas Edison Music Awards. Mike Larry Draw. Woo! The winner's JB, aka Dirty Moses. Nice. Yo, shout out to everybody that was nominated. Everybody on that list of my friends and fellow artists, y'all are amazing. Uh, I'm gonna keep it brief, but I gotta thank myself. Hey, everybody. Guess what? Today is my birthday. A few things I like to do on my birthday. The first one is nothing. That's usually the first idea. Because I just like to hang and chill and just reflect. But today, I don't know what I'm doing.
There's no one in the seats yet, but they will get filled. And guess who's teaching the class? Me. Okay, well, I taught a college class. I taught a class in a university. This was the space, right? You know, I used that television there. Um, I was, it looked like this. I was teaching and the students and it was full and I was sitting there and, and it was great. And um, I'm looking to do more of that. Oh, hey. All right, so I'm in this place called Summit, New York. It's quiet as shit. It's kind of creepy. I'm the only black man in this town. I know this for sure because there's no other black men in this town except me, which is fair. Now, today, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, I was on the radio. Canadian radio. It was a phone call. Here's what happened. There's no reception here. So I couldn't have just called the radio station. In fact, there's no Wi-Fi here too. There's Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi did the thing that you don't want it to do when you're on a phone call, which means un -Wi -Fi itself. Like the Wi-Fi just decided not to do the thing which was supposed to keep the phone that I was on connected so I can finish my interview. Didn't get to finish the interview. Why am I in this place? Why am I in this random place? Uh, this place called Summit, New York. It's because I'm working. What are you working on? I'm working on a film. Someone just called me? What's going on? It's kind of creepy. I'm going inside. I'm a black man, the only black man in this town. I don't want anybody to call the cops or try to murder me or anything like that. So I'm going to go in the house with a bunch of other white people. The good white people. Here we go. This is the documentary, you ready? You ready for this? What up, y'all? That's it. Yo, what up? Nah, he's in the documentary, see? I didn't tell him what we were doing, but... I wanna get famous now. Aren't you already famous? One way or another. All right, let's do it. We're shooting a movie. Now, I just got here. He's been here for the day. He scared me today. That's the thing. He was in, he was in his army fatigue as an actor. Right? That's what I do. And then I walked Scare in people. and looked to the left and I was like, oh shit, like that. And he was, it was kind of cool. But, uh, it's the other actor. Hello. Yes. You're cool. Cool. Hey, Matt, look this way. Oh, you're in it now. So we're shooting a movie tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, the weather tried to do this thing, but we're going to do it anyway because we're badasses. Exactly. Tell me how badass you are. Well, I'm badass going back 40 years. 40 years badass. Yep. Professional badass. Oh. All right, so guys, I just found out I'm gonna be in a movie, but I'm gonna be airman. So take that, mom. And you know what? The somebody. hair, the hair and the beard actually are gonna work because you've been hanging in a meat locker. No, I, the, my the, leg was in, almost blown off. In. Hey, remember that? Remember that time we were talking about the movie, yeah. and I was just like, I don't think there's any black people in this movie. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Remember that movie? I'm gonna be in a movie now. Congratulations. I'm a, t I'm a Tuskegee Airman. You did it. I don't think I'm gonna die in this one. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, wait, did they say what kind of soldier? A tis oh, I'm an airman. An airman? Yeah, I'm an airman. You might be dead. I'm gonna die in this movie. You might be already dead. The virus at all? No, it's a horror movie, right? Yeah. I love that. I always wanted to be in a horror movie. I always right. wanted to be in a horror movie. Now I'm in one. There so, you are. Congratulations. Yeah, good one. Yeah. I gotta wake up. 5.30 in the morning to go to work and film this horror movie slash cool shit. So that's what I'm doing. I decided to sleep on the couch. Why? I feel comfortable on this couch. I think it's important for me to sleep on the couch with the lights on. Mike came in for one day because somebody couldn't make it, and I was like, ah, oh, man, this gets awesome. And then the guy who is the permanent AC, first thing he does is he just 
he completely fucked. He went off, you know, because we had told him how to set the camera and the monitors. We're using little off off-board mon recorders. Oh, oh my god! So we shoot seven, this massive seven-page scene before lunch, and we move on to the next scene, and the guy who's doing the downloads comes to me, he goes, Matt, um, you need to come with me right now and, and see the footage. And he was this huge six-and-a-half-foot-tall guy, but he's just like quivering in his boots. And I'm like, okay, and I go look, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, that stuff's all fucked. Oh. He goes, what are we gonna do? I said, we're gonna throw this out, we're gonna, we're gonna, we shoot it. And the producer comes to me that night, he goes, should we fire this guy? I'm like, no, we shouldn't fire him. He fucked up once, he's really sorry about it. He knows he's a great AC, he's gonna be, you know, let's just stick with him and let's keep him, you know, because I know he's gonna do a good job, you know. And then two days later he goes, I got a better gig, I'm leaving. No! Are you serious? Yes. Fuck? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I was like, I wow. should have fired you! Wow. Yeah. That's So I'm wild. like, oh, Christ, we don't have an AC. I'm like, Let's see about that guy, Mike. <laughs> Mike comes in and just cleans Major out. Upgrade. Yes. <laughs> Yo, I had so much Killed fun with that show. All right, so right now what we're doing is scouting, scouting location to see how things are gonna get shot. This is a war horror film. And I'm gonna be really honest with you. Yes, I'm in a horror movie, <laughs> but. This part right here just feels like a horror movie. Like, I have to go through this shit. I don't think I'm necessarily ready to be going through the woods. Just because I don't have any DEET or anything on me right now. And, uh, I don't know if you guys know how I feel about, uh, ticks, but I don't like them motherfuckers. Ticks are weird as fuck, too. Ticks are super weird, man. They get all in your butt crack underneath your ball sack and just try to bury their face in your skin. It's nasty. Don't want to deal with that at all. You know? None whatsoever. Here we are! We're all, we're all together now! Take them and he'll put them in the. Where's that? Uh, right there. That bag would be perfect. Oh, okay. With the bread. Sophie, can you take four in your car? Oh, how's the documentary going? It's going great. You're Good, in. cool, awesome. <laughs> Come fly away, yeah. It would be so, <laughs> you know, or I, guess I was trying to get in shape for the movie, so I was doing this thing where I put on like this 30 pound pack and I walk up and down my driveway, which is a big hill, and then I walk up this crazy, this crazy hill where the uh, power lines are. Yeah. And uh, Sunday before the shoot, did something to my knee, twisted it. And so yeah. whenever I bend it, it was crackling and making all sorts of horrible noises. But uh, I just came to do the movie anyway. Knee's still crackling. I think it's getting better. But uh, let's hope uh, I don't have to have an operation. Uh. 45 out of that, please. Now remember, the gunshots are coming from over here. Really? So that fun. Looks that looks yeah. really good. That looks very good. <laughs> bacon. Ooh, bacon. No swine before drinking wine. Eat no swine before it's time. The woods. You want to shoot this, Matt? Yeah, you just go. You do your thing, and I'll do what I my thing. Hey, Matt. What was your thought on that last shot? How were you feeling? The last one, I almost smashed the lens of the camera into the bumper of the Jeep, so I wasn't feeling great about that. Professional badass. We're done for today. Okay. And <laughs> tomorrow we'll do it all over again. All over again. All over again. All over again. All over. But different. All over. Different. 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 All over, but different. All over, but different. All over, but different. All over, different. All over, different. All over, different. Day two. Better than day one. And we are ready. DEFCON 4. DEFCON 4. Oh, well, I can just tell everybody that the goggles are not there. They need to see the movie in order to see it. I like it. It's a trailer. Okay. Stay right. tuned for goggles. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. Ready? Ready. Alright, cool. I'm dressed. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to day four of shooting. 
and we're going to Spillian and it's gonna be great. One terrified. Or is it a uh, back to the future? Army black. Wait, why do you have that in your head? Because I have jingle bells stuck in my head. <laughs> Was someone playing Christmas music? <laughs> in my head. I would assume that we're coming to a point of the of the movie where it's, it's getting really interesting. <laughs> it's Mac, the one and only. <laughs> Why well, I look so crazy? You don't look crazy. I don't think I look like you did. You guys, you guys follow Mag. She's a f super famous actress, That's actor. Do you go actress or actor? We all do actor, now, right? No, I don't think neutral. I have an opinion. I think neutral. neutral. Yeah. You guys follow Meg, Sophie. Yes. You know, I I don't think that's fair for these dang birds to crap on my Subaru. What sort of advice would you give to a young aspiring potential fan of yours? <laughs> what would you like the world to know about life? The right things in your life will find you. The right things are out there for you, and it, the, they will they will. It will cross your path. And also, investing in a good makeup brush is key because this is shit and it's getting brush things all over my face. Come on. Here comes the light. Okay, try not to hit the corpse, you'll get blood on you. Try not to hit the corpse. Yeah, we tried to, you know, hang a dummy, hang Paul, but Paul's like, you know, our size, so we just ended up with. Mm. Yeah, we should not like come this way. We should not come this way. We sort of like come, you know. I want. I want to keep it dark. It's a horror movie. Go get another light. Fun Mike Larry fact: If you ever see me wear a hoodie inside of the woods, yep. when it's like pretty warm. Because I hate the sound oh, of buzzing in my ear. It's traumatic. That's like... It takes me back to a place I can't remember. I don't want to remember it. So, I either wear headphones or if it's cold, I'll wear a hoodie. So, just in case I hear the buzzing, it's fine. It can't go in my ear and, and stab me. Hold on. What? What's that MLD? Oh, Unlockable shit. character. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Brax is an unlockable character, guys. A likable character? Unlockable. What 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 kind of life lesson or an experience or even anything? What can you tell the people? If I had to tell the people something, I would say be aware of your own ignorance and also always trust your gut and don't do not Don't sell short your opportunities, you know, you'll end up somewhere. That's kind of how I ended up here, so. And that's yeah. how he's the unlockable character, guys. Yes, sir. Un unlockable achievement. There you go. I've, I've made it to Brax level. Let's go. Bang. What can you tell the thousands upon millions of people that are going to follow you to the ends of the earth, probably? And uh, what wise information can you give them about life? Something that you would tell yourself or someone younger. Oh man. Valuable information. Oh man. If you surround yourself with people that make you feel good, you'll be fine, no matter what. I would say that. You know. But keep people who feel good. If they f make you feel bad, don't don't deal with it. They'll just hold you back. Yes. Do you, what do you what do you have to tell the people in the world? Oh my God. Something in, nothing inspirational. Else is no, okay. Something inspirational. Billy. Billy man, you got anything inspirational to tell the people? You're in my documentary now. Is this okay? Yeah, sure. Well, All right, are you over 18? No, I'm not. Oh, shit. What do is the hero, her shooting towards him. He has a stub. One man. He has two stubs. One man, two stubs. Now on DVD you can see Stub McMuffin. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to
have spit all over it, so I know. <laughs> Spritz it! Spritz! 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 Alright, so apparently bugs like me a lot because no one else is getting s got by the bugs except me. It's that cologne you put on this morning. It's because I'm black. It's because I'm black. Hi, Mike. You enjoying yourself? Oh, yeah. Just oh, yeah. getting chewed to death by bugs. Other than that, it's been great. Uh, get some uh, footage of me standing in front of a jeep for fuck's sake. I did. All right. All right. Be in the documentary in the front of a jeep. It's true. It's be better than that. Do those. Right. And it, by the way, is this all together? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Next. MLD. Mike. Oh, yes. To your house, that then leads into a slightly different part of the We're project. watching an MLD production. Exactly. But they all go broadland. Yep. <laughs> yeah.